Hey, hey, welcome back, folks. This is an everyday normal situation in Miles Updog's life. And I'm glad he's willing to share it with us, Mr. Updog. Is either completely lost. I think he's completely lost. <laughs> I, I, I just restored a save and I'm, I'm kind of like picking up the pieces uh, as I go, I suppose. This elevator needs a key. This is what we're doing. We're looking for a key. We're being chased by a new bad guy, Mr. Traeger. Mr. Dr. Traeger, I'm guessing? I don't know. And uh, yeah, it's great so far. Let me jump. In case you missed that part, um, where I can barely see my hand. See, there's a finger missing. I got a finger like that missing on the other side. It's kind of awful. That's Mr. Updog's life. This is all so every day in his job. I wonder if this is just a normal day for him. To, whoa, this is absolutely not the idea. <laughs> Did you see how probably close that was? <laughs> that little gaff. Okay, anyway, great. We're still alive. That's what counts. Mr. Uh, Mr. Miles. I'm really kind of wondering what in the what in the world is his deal? Is he just a really awful documentarian, genuinely? How far up does he go? See, we spent kind of the entire last episode uh, just kind of watching Traeger pass by back and forth. I don't really want to do that today. That might be what ends up happening anyway. I don't know. I don't know what you can do in given the situation. I mean, there's kind of little that you can do uh, right now. There aren't that many doors. If I were to actually go spend the time looking around. You know, we got a couple of beds that I can hide under. That's kind of nice. We got locked doors all over the place. Got a nice photo. Mm-hmm. 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 I'm guessing we just got to pass by Mr. Traeger um, once. Probably once. He's got us bottlenecked, though. I really don't like bottlenecks. I'm not a fan of bottles to begin with. I mean, I mean they, they serve a purpose. But uh, I'd rather, you know, kind of leave bottles far away from the rest of my life. I kind of like an open mouth bottle, let's say that. How about that? Yeah. I was wondering briefly about how possible or dumb it would be to um, climb up here into this vent and kind of fall onto Traeger. I mean, that's a bad idea because Mr. Traeger happens to be the one between us who is carrying knives. At least one set of knives, which he has fashioned into a very large thing of scissors, I think. Maybe what I'm going to do is I'm going to... Let's see... Can I sneak over just f close enough to see him? I think he looks like dead through these th that that door right through the bars here. I want to see once he passes by. I want to try to like sneak back into that hallway where um where we were in the last episode where we spent kind of the entire time. I want to see how much I can follow him. Could be that I'm just supposed to supposed to run past him. I don't know. I haven't really hadn't really thought about that. Surprise, um Yeah, surprise it took me that long. No, oh, I'm not surprised it took me that long. Come on, I'm an idiot. There he is. Okay, and he's passing by. Alright, that's nice. Keep walking, buddy. Uh-huh. Okay. That's good. That's good. That's good. Still got four batteries. That's not a bad number. That's not a high number. It's not zero. That's a pretty important number to avoid. I'm comfortable with that. We're gonna... Uh, you know... I mean, we've died enough times in this particular situation. I don't see very much reason why not to, at, you know, try to, try to push the envelope, so to speak. Find an envelope and just kind of give it a nudge, you know? Maybe I should just run past this guy. He's probably gonna say, buddy! And then he's gonna chase me with his scissors. And it's gonna be scary. 
but maybe all I need to do is to pass through some kind of threshold that he can't pass, kind of like how Mr. Walker can't get into small spaces, you know. Maybe I need a similar sort of thing. The unfortunate thing is that this man is very quiet. I'm just gonna hide under this bed. How about that? How about that? That, ladies and gentlemen, is a teensy little bit of progress. Baby steps. We heard him mumbling. I don't think he got the inkling that we passed by. However, I'm going to remain in here until I am sure that I'm not going to get brutally murdered right away. Because that's kind of not the point to Mr. Updog's life. I'm going to call him Updog the rest of the time now. That's his name. It's not Miles Up, sure. Nope. Miles up, dog. This is, uh... This is a normal everyday sort of day. This is Wednesday, I guess. Wednesday in Mr. Up Dog's life. Either he is a very de dedicated documentarian, and this is all just so normal. I mean, you know, I mean, this losing a finger, that's just kind of... Par for the course, perhaps? Either that or, you know, I was wondering about this a little bit earlier. The, the coast seems to be clear. But, um, I was thinking, either Mr. Updog, <laughs> sorry, I just really like saying that. Either he is, um, a very dedicated. Nope, 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 nope. I'm going to record this whole thing. That's it. Is this in his habit now to check under beds? Is he just going to check under that bed twice? That's... W oh. Hmm. This man certainly does have a lot more personality than Mr. Chris Walker. That's encouraging. You know, it's it's important to have personality. What was I saying before? Yeah, there's... Uh, I cannot remember the name. It's something I'm going to have to research while I'm editing. And maybe I'll include this as a little bit of an animated title down at the bottom right. But I remember back when I was in film school. Some two or three hundred years ago. And... I think it's safe. And um, there was, I remember, a type of filmmaking. Hello. Oh, I see. I think. I think I see. That's that gentleman. Was it? Anyway. Uh, there was a type of filmmaking that was very interesting. Let me just hide under here. And it was the type of filmmaking that was very restrictive, but probably very surprisingly liberating for the filmmaker. You get onto the scene, and you use only what is on the scene. So if you're gonna go record in someone's house, you only have what props those people own at the time, you only have what actors live in that house, you only have the lighting that is allowed by whatever possessions those people own, all that stuff. Whatever the weather is, that's what the weather is, you know? I, I can't remember what the name of that type of filmmaking is, but I wonder, I mean, it would be a very interesting plot twist if, like, if Miles Up Dog, Miles Upshur here, was actually that type of filmmaker, and he just walked into this world, and he's making a fun documentary, just, you know, I, I don't know, I don't know. I mean, that's one way to make a documentary, but it could be that this is just a fun story. Oh, I... <laughs> Mr. Traeger, please come over here and kill these people so that they don't scare me. This is awful. I don't want to be... I mean... Who didn't see this happening? Like six or seven times along my path here. Who didn't? 
you don't see me. No way, man. No. <laughs> yeah. I'm kind of getting the feeling that this game, like... Yeah. <laughs> I like this guy for his personality. Not for much else, though, I'm afraid. Still, um... Yeah, I'm just kind of trying to, to piece together the story of this whole game, and... You know, it's, it's interesting that uh, all of this unfortunate stuff is happening, but... Uh, But where does it come together? I'm, well, I mean, why am I even asking this? I, I'm basically playing a horror game, and it, it shouldn't be anything special. There shouldn't be anything to it. It's just, I'm in this to get scared, and everybody else is in this to get murdered. That's a nice bed. How about a had an underneath? It seems like a... Oh, hey, 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 that's a door. I should probably head over to that door. Let me just... Stay in this very dark corner. Okay. So I hear he is a shinking his scissors. Hey, look at that hand. That's a that's a good hand. Ah, I'm just gonna pass by. Yeah, how about that? Bathrooms. I see. With stalls. Alright. <laughs> yeah, I did it. Oh, that's good. That's good. I bet you. I bet you these are functioning just like lockers. So that music come around. Yeah. Is that Mr. Traeger walking by? I don't hear him mumbling. If I come out of this stall, is there going to be a sir there with gigantic novelty scissors? Probably not, huh? Yeah, okay, well, uh, I'm just going to shut this door in. Yep, alright. The music is kind of building up, so I want to be careful. That was some good progress so far, though. What you think? Eh? Okay, there's no batteries. No. No. Okay. I do want to keep an eye out for batteries. What better place for batteries than a bathroom? I know. I know. But it's worth looking. You never know in a terrible, horrible, apocalyptic kind of situation like this. I mean... We haven't found batteries in any other place. Why not look in the bathroom? Yeah. Okay, so is that Sir over there actually? No, he's not. He's still alive. He's not dead. That's, uh. Yeah, look at him. Smelly as hell, though. Look at him flies. Okay. Down under the bed we are. Hmm. Yeah, I better shut that off. Yeah. Okay. I'm not I'm not super sure what I'm supposed to be looking for, but I'm figuring on faith that um whoop. I'm figuring on some kind of faith that uh whatever I am looking for is going to be well framed. It's going to be well lit, probably very well lit. Dangerously well lit, I imagine. Because that's just the way of horror games. They don't put things really hidden like that. Not if they want you to find it, you know? Is he in this hallway? Shit. Like, I hear him shanking his scissors once in a while, right? So I don't know how close he is. Or maybe it's that gentleman over there just kind of shifting in his seat.
<laughs> no? Okay. He sounds like he might be nearby. I think I'm in a corner? Okay, now I'm in a corner. Yeah, alright, alright, alright. There wasn't much there. Maybe I could just, uh... Man. He's so quiet. He really needs to adjust those... Wait a minute. Should I stop talking? That's kind of a problem with doing a let's play, you know? When you should be listening, but you kind of should be talking. Is he over there? Let's see where he comes in. I don't know. I think quitting's good. <laughs> quitting once in a while is pretty great. <laughs> What is that saying? Live to fight another day? Sure. Sure, sure. We're going to go with that. Yeah. Live to fight another day. That's exactly the family motto. The credo. What is it? That's exactly what the Upshur family stands for. <laughs> Running the hell away. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I can kind of see the top uh, in the top left. My battery meter is starting to go a little bit red. I'm gonna stay right here. See, there's a little bit of a crack that I can see. We're gonna see if he passes right through there. Kind of get the impression now that Mr. Uh, what's his name, Traeger, is in this hallway. I mean, it's probably just the situation that he's gonna be following me everywhere I go. Isn't that friggin' typical? Can't really get a feel for where he is. Like, the sound is, is sort of coming from my right. I can kind of hear him walking. Let me get a feel here. Okay. I need to hear those footsteps. Give them to... Ah. There they are. Okay, he's walking past. Oh, shit. Okay. I probably have to move that, don't I? That's one of them movable boxes. That's one of those boxes that are meant to be moved. Okay, I got it. I got it. Ah, oh, how did he see me? Somebody has to win and somebody has to lose here. <sighs> Corporate mansions and golden parachutes. Where are the survivors? So, so wait a minute, did he see me and then he kind of changes his mind? Did he see me and then kind of his, his, his contact w was weirded out? I don't, I don't quite get that. Is it a, is it a purely a vision thing and he could only sort of see me behind that bed? That's interesting though. That is interesting. So, I was able to, I might have been safe just staying there. That's interesting. Okay, sure. Let me hear him walk away again, and then I will reapproach, and we will see what happens when I hide behind that bed again. Yeah, there, there's this. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's it. Yeah, walk away, sir. Hold up there, buddy. Ah. Uh, uh, nope. This time, not this time. Nope! <laughs> nope, he got me this time. Okay, well... What's the point? He knows where I am. And he's gonna watch me run away. He's gonna know where I am. Fine. Sure. Great.
<laughs> At least we got a little bit of progress. Ah, oh, this is where they leave. Oh. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we made only a tiny bit of progress. I'm kind of sorry. But what else can I do with a blind run of this game? So, uh, we're gonna... I think we made an episode. So, hey, thanks. Thanks for... Thanks for... Th thanks for dealing. <laughs> Let me just reinitiate this. Come on, sir. So you want to enter this hallway, right? There you are. There you are. Yep. Yep. There. Okay. Thank you again for watching, and, uh... Next episode, we're gonna try to run past him, try to do all those steps all over again, and uh, hopefully it's gonna work out way better. Thanks, have a good night.